make early. I think they have 15 points there in that first half. They you know, weren't shooting the ball very well, but defensively it seemed like that what got you guys back in this. How much was it you know, creating those turnovers and getting some points off of those that kind of kept you alive in this thing? Well, I've, I've, I've always said this. You know, the team has played first night. I always feel like they have advantage early in the early night game. And you know, a team like us, you know, we, we depend on shooting so much. You know, don't get a chance to shoot early. And we basically shot from 6 to 620 tonight. That's not making no excuses. But I always felt like that other team that's playing has advantage. And they shot it well early. I think they made five, five threes in that first uh, six minutes. We got down, but to our guys get credit, they fall back. Uh, we changed defenses and from that point on, we were good defensively. They didn't get a lot of stuff. You know, you can chop it up a lot of ways. It's hard to overcome against a good team. We went three for 21 from three-point line. We're a team that depends on making some threes. And we go 12 for 19 from the foul line. So those are two areas that you got to overcome. And it's still a one-possession game right there, whatever seconds it were. Which obviously you mentioned, you know, 3 for 21 from downtown. What are, you never want to say what if in the loss of this, but are there some other things that, you know, that you didn't mention that maybe would have made a difference in the game that you guys could have worked Well, no, there's nothing you hadn't seen at this point. Give them some credit. They made some, they made a couple threes at shot clock going down. Um, you know, Lofton's low. Lofton scores that last basket when we were up one in there. Found a way to get it up and around. J. Mar, he fumbled it a couple times. But that's winning losing. Winning losing's a fine line. It comes down to one play here, a missed free throw here. Uh, when you're playing against good teams. And obviously what goes on the locker room is personal, but as far as what you guys have been saying to each other, picking each other back up, getting ready for next year, you know, how driven and motivated is this team to get back into the offseason and get working again? Well, not right now we cannot think a whole lot about offseason. Here's what I can say about this team is we've overcome, and you guys have been with us from day one. We've overcome a lot with this team. And I'm proud of them for that. You know, they could have very easily, you know, laid down at one point. Uh, it's, it's been documented. We were, our bench wasn't very deep. But these guys stayed together. They kept fighting. I felt like coming in this thing, we were as good as we could be physically, mentally, uh, offensively, and defensively. Uh, they bleed in each other. We won nine out of 10. And again, and even losing, it's a fine line. You saw example of a fine line again. Defensively, guarding, guarding there with Lofton. Uh, that's the, re the reason. I liked it down the late night game. Got Jay J Moore out of that game. Uh, trust me, that was a fault. But boy, at that other end, um, you know, you know where that ball was going. And that, that'd been a, uh, a big gamble. And I gambled to keep my big man in there and um, guarding Lofton. Then you said just moments ago, you're very proud of this team. And you guys have been through a lot with COVID and injuries and being fit. When you look back at just this team and what you guys overcome, you know, talking about how proud you are, what else makes you so proud about this team that you coached this year? Well, Muhammad, no, no, this. Our goals always win championships, beat the championships. And, you know, we found a way to get second in that, in that East, overcome a lot of things. So what I'm proud of is uh, we got hit in the mouth, got knocked down or in this league. Um, and our guys got back up on that mat and stayed together. And as you guys want to, we've been playing really well. Uh, both ends of the court. Uh, uh, these guys have been great to coach. Uh, you know, you take a, ga a guy like Cam Justice, we anticipated playing 15 minutes max this year. Took him out of the academic room. And probably averaged 38 minutes. What else more could I ask one he gave this year? Played with his heart. Josh Anderson, you know, he was he was, he was was terrific tonight. I don't mean he made his shots and all that, but his effort was unbelievable tonight. Um, Luke didn't have his best shooting night. Uh, we've all had to overcome a couple of injuries along the way. But these guys stayed together, kept believing and kept fighting. That's not always easy to do.